No such problems for England. Cleal won it and they're heading towards the line. And they're there. And it's Vicky Fleetwood. My first time I met Fleeto was at England Under-20s and I just remember her being a nugget of muscle. She like looked like an absolute athlete and I didn't know, she was 17 or something. A mini egg, so she's tough on the outside but she's a big softy on the inside. She's thoughtful. Fleeto's just so caring, like she's one of the most caring people I know. She always um, has time for people. Obviously she's played hooker for years and years, so she was playing hooker I came as, in as this 18 year old that had never played senior rugby, being brought into the camp and yeah I just remember her being so helpful and so supportive like doing throwing drills with Smithy and she was just helping as much as she could and I think that just shows like her character and what she's like as a person. Fleetwood still working as hard as ever. She'll always be there running a hard line on your shoulder. Her effort to like make herself available is just awesome and then she'll never stop working. She'll trap back, make the covering tackles, back on her feet. I just think that's that's what inspires me about her. On my 10th cap, we'd gone to Italy to play and she drew me like this little cow. Put like happy 10th cap because they will take the mick out of my email address, Marley Moo. First thought comes to mind when I think of Fleeto is got to be the pineapple. Um, the hairstyle running around the pitch. Looking back in some old pictures, she had it that season when she was playing and also first when I played against her. Just the genuine human. Uh, she was actually my roomie in the 2014 World Cup lush person, inside and out, would do anything for anyone. She's just a great human, great friend. Not only a rugby player, but I can also call a friend as well.